We have pinpoint weather team coverage for you this noon time. The drive in the mobile newsroom just this morning down to South County. This is what it looked like. We saw some larger snowflakes, but a lot of it not sticking to the roadways. I want to reporter Eric Halperin joining us live to show us how people are dealing with this morning's snow. Brian, still snowing ever so slightly here in Richmond. We're along Main Street. Let's take a look at this parking plaza here. This parking lot drying out now. Earlier today was covered with that sort of like wet, snowy, slushy mixture. And if we move on over to the grass, like Michelle was seeing, that is where we've seen the highest snow totals. This grass over here, easily a couple inches that I measured. Then again, the roads wet but clear. And that's what we've been pretty much been seeing all the way down from Providence to this area in Richmond. And this is again that video from 95 South in Richmond. Again, the roads clear, just wet. The snow sticking mostly off to the sides of the highway and the trees. We haven't seen we haven't seen any trucks with the plows down, but have seen them out treating the roads. It has been easy to tell that there's been a bit more snow accumulation down here than in the Providence area. People we talked to say they were just glad to get their Easter egg hunts in yesterday, but after all, it is New England. But if we're in New England, it always uh, is a little bit of a difference. You know, you never, you never know what's going to happen this time of year. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. I didn't want to open my eyes. We knew it was coming. You know, so here we are. We're New Englanders, and we'll deal with it. And so again, while the roads are clear, it's never a bad idea just to take it a little more slow out here in this kind of weather. Something else we have been seeing, some of the snow starting to fall off the trees and onto some cars. So that's just something else to look out for. Live in Richmond, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.